It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the AI skeleton effect in After Effects. Before the tutorial starts I just wanted to let you guys know that we have a website called editingvisuals.com and on our website we're offering you guys a little cheat code in the editing game now so we have a pretty cool effects pack, texture packs that's really gonna make your editing unique and stand out from your competition. Now let's get right into the tutorial here. So we're gonna start off in After Effects here. I'm going to be choosing a clip I want uh, to make this AI effect for and I'm going to be using this Travis Scott clip here and you're basically going to render this out, this clip here. And when it's done, you're going to be opening up a website called kyber.ai. And when you're in kyber, it's going to look something like this here. And you're basically going to start off by going to create video. And here we're going to be using the transform style here. And uh, you're basically going to click on the transform one. And here you're going to be uploading the clip you just rendered. So here I got my clip uploaded here. And after that, I'm going to be going to edit your prompt. And here I usually like to use this autofill prompt subject. And uh, you can see the AI is analyzing what the video is about. And uh, I'm basically going to uh, change this a little bit in my own words. So this is what I changed it to. I just uh, switched out the man to skeleton instead. And it says a skeleton standing in front of a window at night. And then uh, burning buildings in the background. Which is how I would uh, describe the clip here and uh, just switching it with the skeleton parts then. And the style here, I'm going to be using the photorealistic one. And after that, I'm going to be going down here to video settings. Here, I'm going to be using the Evolve 10 here. So I'm going to go all in, make the AI go crazy. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, let's uh, generate some previews here. This is the preview we got here. I think it looks super cool and uh, you guys might have to uh, make multiple uh, versions of this to get a uh, look you're satisfied with. But I think this preview looks good here. So I'm going to uh, press create video. And now it's going to be loading for a bit here. And you're basically going to wait out till it's done. And now we can see our final result here. It looks pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. And after that, you're going to be upscaling this clip here and you're going to be pressing upscale and I'm going to be upscaling it to 4x. Okay so now it's upscaled and now we're going to be downloading this clip here so you're going to press download and then download 4x so you get the highest quality. Okay so now I have imported the clip here into After Effects and uh, I'm going to be cutting the clip up a little bit because I don't think AI looks the best all the time. There's some parts I think this looks pretty cool but uh, I noticed the animation is a little bit weird in my opinion so I'm going to be cutting away the first two clips here I have and I'm going to be cutting it here. So control D, delete it. Now we have this part here, and then we have this part here as well. The first thing I'm going to be doing is basically to change the blending mode of these layers here to exclusion. So go to blending mode here and then choose exclusion, then exclusion here as well. And you'll get a more merged kind of look here and uh, I think it looks pretty pretty cool. This is the look you're getting here. This is the difference here. So now it's ex exclusion and this is normal. Pretty big difference. I think it looks pretty pretty good. And uh, you also have an option you can root brush the AI clip here. And uh, that's what I've done here. And I'm going to be showing you guys the difference here. So I basically root brushed the skeleton here. And this is how it looks. So that is a thing you can do to uh, get an even more cooler look. And if you don't know how to roll the brush, I made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description. After that, we're going to be adding a adjustment layer. So press Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to be adding a effect from my color glitch pack. And if you guys are interested in this pack, you can use the discount code Pelle to save $5. And we're going to be adding the fourth color glitch effect. This is the look you're getting now. I think it looks pretty, really cool. Just this. But uh, I'm going to be playing around with the blending modes a little bit to get the even cooler look. So I'm going to be changing the blending mode for the fourth color glitch effect to hard light. And uh, this is how it's going to look. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. But uh, there is something missing here. And that is the glow. So we're going to be making a adjustment layer. Control Alt Y. Drag it above. Here add glow. I'm going to start off with the default glow here, then press Ctrl D. Set the glow threshold to 40%, the glow radius to 250, and then the glow intensity to 0.75. After that, press Ctrl D again. Set the glow threshold to 20, glow radius to 500, 
and then the glow intensity to 0.5 and this is the look you will be getting now i think it looks absolutely amazing here and if you guys think the same don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial don't forget to check out our website with amazing editing packs just like this one here the color glitch pack and as i said before use the discount code pelle to save five dollars and don't forget to check out our socials and i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day